For the last 10,000 years, humans have been cultivating and selecting plants based on their physical attributes or what is called the phenotype. However, when we choose based on just what we see, there is a risk that the selection is being misguided by the effect of the environment. Until some decades ago, this type of selection was the only option breeders apply to improve crops. After advances in genomics, we are now able to identify the inheritable component of the phenotype and use this in the selection process. To demonstrate the use of this information in plant breeding, today we will see the application of market-assisted selection. Market-assisted selection is an approach that enables us to select the genotypes directly using a specific DNA marker for a trait instead of phenotyping on the field. This approach reduces the time of the breeding cycle and saves costs. As an example, we will genotype soybean lines for the presence of a marker associated with resistance to a disease called Asian soybean rust. The process starts by identifying a potential DNA marker for our trait. This can be done by accessing online databases and searching for data of QTL mapping or GWAS studies that reported sites on the genome associated with the trait. Previous research has shown that a locus on chromosome 18 is associated with the resistance. Then, we can identify the physical position of a marker and use this information to design a probe. After the probe is designed, we can order it online to use in our experiment. Here are the materials we are going to use. Ice, DNA, note that we have previously extracted the DNA, so we are not showing this step, but here is a reference on how to perform this. CASP assay mix, the probes designed, an empty 1.5 milliliter tube, pipettes, pipette tips, a 384 wells plate, and we will need this equipment to perform our analysis. We start by adding the cast in our probe to the empty tube. We vertex the solution for a few seconds and we also centrifuge. Now we will transfer two microliters of our DNA from the original plate to the 384 wells plate. Using the mantis, we will add 2 microliters of our solution with the markers to the DNA. We seal the plate. We centrifuge for a few seconds. and then we perform a PCR reaction to amplify our region of interest. After the PCR, our plate is ready to be read in the light cycler. Here we can see the segregation of the resistant locals in the population. The points in the green color are the individuals positive for the resistant allele and the blue points are negative for the resistance. From here, we can select the resistant individuals and use them in a back cross, for example, without the need of phenotyping, adding precision and speed to our breeding process. Thank you for watching!